Yeah. What do they call it these days? It's like a digital a digital show. <laughs> Is there a name for this? We have this lovely little bowl here. This this bowl was made by George Leach in 2009. If you don't know George Leach, he's an amazing singer, songwriter, yeah. artist. He's actor. Actor. He made this, and it's been on display in my house for well since 2009. And we're going to be picking from this little pot every episode and discussing the topic that's on this piece of paper. Okay, so it's very scientific. Here we go. Feminism, what it means to me. This is a hard one. It is me. a hard one. What that, does it mean to you? The younger version of myself imagined that I was, or thought that I was a feminist because I was fiercely independent when it came to my income. When I thought about you know, my role in society as a woman, I felt very empowered mm -hmm. because of my financial independence. As I got older, I realized that defining myself as independent financially and feeling, you know, very proud of that was mm -hmm. actually exist within the definition of patriarchy. <laughs> I was using a definition or a structure that essentially was you know, created by men or is typically referred to as a, a male yeah. position mm -hmm. in life. So well, I don't a, want to a colonial a, position yes. too. Well, exactly. Which is, you know, has that whole value set. When I started to really reconnect with myself as a woman and unlearn those, you know, mm -hmm. very rigid rules and mm -hmm. um, definitions about um, what it was to be a feminist, I, I realized that I actually don't really know even what that word means mm -hmm. and I had to kind of start from the beginning. For me, feminism came with all of the, the baggage really that um, it, did, it does for most people because there was such an effective propaganda campaign set out, I think in the 70s, to disempower the movement. And that, you know, feminism was about being angry, feminism was about burning bras. I mean, this is archaic at this point in our culture, but that stuff carried forward. And it was sort of a bad word. And even five years ago, university um, graduate student interviewed me about feminism. And these were still like really relevant things for this 22 year old trying to deconstruct you know, feminism as being a bad word. In the last five years, we've really seen a reclaiming of the word feminism and a new uh, relationship and meaning to it for, for us as women. The, another layer of things where I grew up around really strong indigenous women who are like, we're not feminists, we're indigenous women. This isn't a movement, this is our identity. There are our, things that fall outside of the definition of the way people think of feminism and how, what that movement is fighting for that actually aren't what we want in our communities in the rebalancing. And I think that the word feminism has been co-opted and has been embraced and defined by many communities in different ways. And I relate to the word because, you know, I relate to the idea that beyond my own identity and my own definition of freedom and equality, there are other women making those definitions for themselves also. Mm -hmm. And the fluidity of that word and the power that, uh, that that fluidity holds for us as women, I'm invested in the potential of that unifying idea that we get to define, we get to decide for ourselves and we can stand together in those differences and, and commonalities with, you know, power. We want to define things and we yeah. want to control them and we want to decide who gets to wear the, the logo or, or is the kind of feminist that we align ourselves with or, and I just think all of that stuff is bullshit. Yeah, I just, yeah, I, I just changed all of my, all of my thoughts and perspectives and I'll become what you just said. <laughs> that sounds really awesome. I want to be a part of that movement. One of the things that I have 
come to realize about my my maybe not my view on feminism but my view on myself as a woman mm. is my ability to nurture and i'm not saying that that's across the board every woman my best attribute is as a nurturer mm. of people of things of thoughts of ideas i want yeah. to be empowered and feel strong and be and become stronger because of my ability to nurture i feel like that's a part of my place in yeah you know in the room in a group in the community in society i think of the movement as being much bigger than feminism where we're going as women as we step forward and what we're dreaming for our daughters and our granddaughters or if we you know can hold that space genuinely for seven generations ahead and what we dream for the women and I hope that it can change from a discussion of um, equality to a discussion of balance. What I dream for us is to, to be able to measure what that balance means truly for us, not in a reactive way, but it, like just standing in our center, in our power as women and being connected you know, to the power of creation. It's my hope that our great, great, great granddaughters will hold that in a way that doesn't question it. And isn't trying to reconnect, that they're just standing there, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Share with us your thoughts on the the word feminism or the word feminist and the movement or anything you've seen in this un TV show, <laughs> this episode of this un TV show. Please like, share, and subscribe to this video and this channel and. Yeah, let's stay connected. Yeah, we'll come we'll come up with more and continue this. Bye.